Careful what you click on. You don't want to catch the flu bot. So Stan, why don't you tell us about some uh, flu bot spyware? Well, I, I was reading thread posts and this interesting story uh, popped up. Um, uh, basically, they're covering an advisory issued in the United Kingdom about uh, a new type of flu spreading. Uh, the only problem is this flu affects your Android devices. Um, it's malware uh, that you get usually like a text message or an SMS, um, and it'll direct you to a website where you'll be asked to install an app to track your packages. Uh, but the problem is uh, it's not really helping you do that. It's some sort of spyware that can run on your phone. Now, you have to be very careful with these types of websites because if you go there, uh, you might think that you're protected uh, because uh, of certain settings. You have an Android and you just want to double check them. Uh, so the setting you're looking for is to prevent downloading APKs from any kind of uh, website that's not like an authorized Play Store. Um, usually, uh, I think it's like called maybe side loading or something like that, where you download the APK, you put it on your phone. You just have to be very careful with those because there's usually uh, not a lot of good policing around that and a lot of malware um, spreads this way. Now, this campaign, uh, it's it seems like it's pretty new, uh, but it's distributed over a pretty large um, infrastructure of domains and IP addresses uh, kind of all over the place, um, all designed to get people to install uh, malware on their Android phones. Now, we've heard of this before. This is nothing new. It's there at the forefront again. One of the reasons, and I know you were asking, like, why is this called Flubot? One of the reasons it's called Flubot is actually this Trojan, once it's installed on your uh, phone, it'll go through your contacts list, and it'll... Um, send the same SMS to all of your friends now from your number, and then basically enabling this kind of like potential viral spreading. So I know what you guys are both thinking. Everything old becomes new again, uh, mm -hmm. just on a different platform or a different architecture. This is exactly what things in like the 90s, I think, early 2000s, uh, we were seeing a lot of threats like that, but they weren't using SMS, right, because phones weren't big back then. They were really using um, email, and it was a lot of Windows Trojans that we were talking about, and we were telling people, uh, hey, be careful what you install on your Windows computer. So now we're saying the same thing on your phone. And arguably, right, you guys tell me if I'm right or wrong, but your phone is probably even more important nowadays than your computer because your entire digital life is on there. Um, and this, this spyware actually attempts to get at it. It tries to get clear text passwords you might have stored, any other information that's stored in clear text from other applications. So uh, you definitely have to be careful with things like that. And uh, that's that's the gist of the story. Uh, be careful, uh, I guess, what kind of text messages you click on. Yeah, I usually, I usually tell friends and family, if you get a text that has a link in it, either manually type it into your browser or type it into your phone, or whatever you do, don't click on it. <laughs> don't open it out and straight off that link off that SMS just because so much of this malware re relies upon you selecting links off of SMS messages. It's, it's, it's just dangerous. We already get so many text messages. We as like a collective society, we get so many text messages. And John, I say the same thing to all of my family members. Don't click on anything. I even go so far as I just don't answer phone calls for the, I don't, if I don't have the number saved, I just won't answer. I'll let it go to voicemail. Sometimes that's a little impractical for, for some people, but it's just sort of like that blanket approach where I'm not clicking on anything. I'm not answering phone calls. I'm not going to their website. It's just good advice overall. But we, we are just un inundated with text messages. And so I guess this flu bot just kind of adds to that, I guess. Yes. And actually, Andy, on that, I'd like to share a personal story where a while ago, back before I was so elite and I was a really good malware researcher, I thought that researching things on my phone would protect me. And I remember maybe, I don't know how long ago it was, many years ago, receiving an email with clearly like a phishing URL and I wanted to check it out. 
and I use my phone to do it, thinking that, like, oh, it's probably like a Windows Trojan that you download, so I'll be fine. No, that's not what happened. Uh, it was actually an APK Trojan, and I thought I was protected, except uh, in my earlier days, I had that uh, setting disabled to take the APK files and prevent them from being installed on your device. So it was just by yeah. sheer luck I didn't click, hey, open this APK file, and it turned out to be, I think, uh, a pretty serious uh, Trojan um, that, you know, just one more tap and, and I would have been in trouble. So even if you, you know, if you think that you're protected or you think you're enabled, just think twice, double check your settings, and definitely, especially these days, don't click on any suspicious links, even if it's on your phone. The bad guys have gotten really good. I mean, this was probably like 10 years ago. They were really good back then, and they've just gotten better since uh, in order to be able to deliver this kind of malware to your phones. Yeah, there's, there's a setting that you say, uh, you know, don't, you know, install from unknown sources on Android. You know, usually you want to keep make sure that's off. <laughs> you, know, you only want to know, you know, only want to install software or apps from, from known sources. But uh, sometimes you do have to turn it on. But I would say if you can turn it on, install the, the app, then turn it back off again. Yeah, yes. That's good advice. Yeah, I mean, I, I think even for iPhone users like myself, I mean, maybe, maybe malware you know, being installed on my device through a link is a little less common, but it's still common to, you know, hey, you get like, or even emails, you, you know, your Netflix uh, subscription, your car credit card has failed or something like that. And, you know, it sort of generates that panic. It's just a classic social engineering technique. Oh, oh no, I got to go fix that. And they're looking for creds. So even still, you know, just because it's not the Flubot APK being downloaded onto your, your you know, non-iPhone basically, Still, even iPhone users still need to be vigilant to make sure that you know you get these text messages with these links. You don't know you know where that came from, what it's going to lead you to. It's just best to steer clear. And if it is something Netflix related, go to Netflix.com, type it in yourself, and check on your account, and uh, you you safer that way. You know, I just realized I don't think I've ever received an email from Netflix that I've ever had to check really, <laughs> or a message from Netflix that I ever. <laughs> I just kind of opened the app and I watched the videos that I need to watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's another important aspect. You know, when we're receiving these messages from all over the place, we have to remember, do these entities ever communicate with us that way? Or do they kind of just work, you know, same with eBay or PayPal. I've never really I received a, a legitimate email from PayPal or eBay that told me that something crazy is going on. IRS is real bad, but there's a lot of scams where they, you know, the IRS, if you don't answer this, you know, we're going to seize your assets, you know, and IRS and government agencies mail you paper. Yeah, I'd like them to send email, but it's just not what that's, they're just not set up to do that. No, nah, it's better from the government, you want to get that letter. <laughs> <laughs> there'd be too many scams, I think.